Hey everybody, welcome back to some more war game ranked against Scipio Africanus Scipio if it's Italian, I have no idea. Alrighty, so once again this map it's like the third time now in like four videos or something. But we we got a different side, so there's that. Um what's actually Off-road speed. This is faster off-road. Although there's a direct road, it's not really relevant. Okay. Still tinkering around with our dragon's armor deck. Of course, th there have been plenty of there's been plenty of feedback in, in various areas. Why am I not using vehicle tabs? Don't you think it's it's a good idea to put like an HQ7 or HQ61 in there? It it probably is. I'm like half memeing when I say this is like the ideal way to play. Or like maybe like two thirds or three fourths memeing. But it's like a tiny, tiny like uh, glimpse of fate, something like that. Whoa. In the back of my head telling me, you know, maybe that is more or less ideal. All right, we're gonna open for a push here just in case we're getting heal rushed. Um, let's get some crossing chunks, spread them out so they don't shoot at the same healer. We want the mortar. Let's give the spam a try, shall we? Get like a tank that packs a punch in the back. Some infantry spam. Recon squad. Lots of stuff over on that side of the map. Plenty. Plenty of these guys. Oh, we don't really need. Any bow chunks through there. I figured you. Honestly, Rick and Hilo is always a good idea. I could place you in there. Um, Just get. Actually, I would really like to get. Yeah, 45 points. Perfect. Alright, well, whatever that's gonna be. Um, Alright. Like a fun. If it's a fast game, we're just gonna play another one after this. There, one unloads here, one unloads there, and one unloads there, and then, yeah, just keep it there. You in here, you unload a bit early, as you for the time being just fast move in there, so you am just gonna give the fast move over there, and then let's see what's going on. We just had someone low ranked, I don't know, they, they're just fast for the opener. You never know. What it says, I I'm actually curious if some people, okay, uh, ride ready much much bef like uh, much earlier. Be uh, how did I put this? They're actually readier a lot quicker. Uh, they take no, that's not what I'm trying to say. They take a lot much longer time to get ready than they ride. Excuse me, am I four T's? Who uses that? Who uses this? Sorry. So they actually take a lot longer to get ready than they say just to mess with you because to know what chances are, you know, my opponent, in this case me, actually needs much longer anyway. So I'm gonna put him off guard by saying I'm ready when I'm not. And as a result, I mess with them, which is actually really smart. If that was indeed what, 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 what they were going for. And also, I just can't talk today. Uh, I did one damage to this somehow. Let's unload you. Oh, there's a big tank here. Well, relatively big, at least 125mm gun. Could just be a basic T72 as well, technically speaking. Okay. I didn't really lose that much. Just an 84 AN. Get you in there. I should have gotten some of these guys. Get you out of the case. There's. Okay.
Out of four of these. Force opener certainly did not go as planned. My form loaded there, probably just specialny. You got side shots by the looks of it, and uh, it's arrived, luckily. That's the Rasmus Micro. Alright, well, my opener got not demolished, but we got slowed down massively, that is for sure. Man, these J8s are just so disappointing. Is that a... yeah, this is Sava. No, come on, don't fly... oh my god. Probably dead. Okay, no, you're not. I don't know why the... oh, the Proletariat are all panicked, huh? Don't fly over my Flossing Chunks, please. Sometimes this range just clearly lies. For some reason this is 1000 meters, I don't know why. I don't like it. You know what? Let's let's play it slow. Let's play it slow. Let's get that motor spam going. You should base him there. Actually, smoke this off like that. Hope that they're still panicking, so that's good. That's uh, Tatara, yep. Probably Puruskum Nitsi. One smoke in there, please. Gotta keep in mind that um, thing is probably ready by now. Bomber. So with the, in two takes, we should probably get another J8 to circle. Move up with you a bit. Move up with you a bit. Not a chest in time. Get you out. Get you out. Get you out. Right? Yep, there it is. Gonna move laterally. You're dead. And we even evaded. Mostly. Alright, that was... It was good. DC is ready as well. Get some more recon. Try to get out of line of sight. You know what? Let's just try to save you. We can. Get you a bit back now that the might move up. Get a bit of smoke going. That's another 84 AN, presumably. Get a chum of 5 in there. Yep, it is. Fire in there. You're getting snapped down. Okay, whatever. The smart thing to do, probably in my case, would have get would have been getting J7s or P5 much, much earlier. J7s are fast, B5 flies high, Strela unlikely would have been able to kill that, but... Okay, hold on.
right, well, I had to take a call. But somehow I'm still alive. Okay. <laughs> Get CVs. Get some tonks. And some infantry. Get these back to base. What are you shooting at these things? Okay, whatever. Get this out. A bit further up, I don't want you at the edge because there's a 84 AN. It sponsors otherwise. Okay. <laughs> I will hopefully, if I remember, just put uh, chapters in in the description or something, so you know which part I'm AFK or when I'm returning, rather. Luckily, our opponent hasn't punished us, I think. Get one of you circling. Supply truck. Actually, I want you, I want you group because I want them to be in one city block together. Eventually. Fire in there. Again, I think the right idea would have been to, especially now that I came back right after I was floating so much, would have been to get uh, some bombers going. But I also just, you know, relying bombers spam has, you know, always been like pretty good, and you know if you can get it off or like can overload the AA. Net of your opponent, you know, pretty strong. But that's this with basically all red dragon decks, right? Unless you're playing marines. So I want to focus on not relying on that and get to get better into the the actual ground gameplay, so I get a better feeling for that. And that's why I just also don't typically like to rely on planes. Why I don't like to play US. Ooh, okay. Based on planes so much. I'm, I'm just more for someone who prefers ground gameplay. Which sometimes can be my quote unquote downfall. Because sometimes I tend to. You know what? Let's get some more. Tend to, you know, just undervalue that. Um, yeah, thus far not very convinced by these, but admittedly it's not really the ideal situation for these tanks. MT, uh, sorry, M60. No, what are they called again? M no. PBs. Are they called M60? What are they called again? Are they not called M60s? Why do I forget this? Is that the mortar? It is the mortar. Are they empty or why are they moving up? They are called M60s. I don't know why I was doubting myself so much. Alright, let's give this another try, shall we? Okay. Oh, is he trying to move up to counter battery? No. Oh, he moves up for the. Are they spotted? They are spotted. Okay, that's fine by me. I don't mind if my Chomaos are spotted. Wait, I need you to... Smoke this part off. You wait. Shade's circling. It's plumbing. Not very good for us. You going? Get some of you going. Fine. You're sp you already have a garbage rate of fire, so whatever. Let's walk here a bit. Need some ammo. Dodge! Move you up for fire support. Don't underestimate CPT use. No, oh, smoking himself for his tank. Smoking it off himself, even. Oh, they're not really getting in there very well. 
The fire support is just not... I should have moved up with the crossing chunks earlier. Okay, get you circling, get you circling. Get you out of there so you can kill the Hera. Out of all the units, it's uh, World Wings. Would it makes it in there? I don't even, didn't even put you in a boot. Oh yeah, I have to watch out for the Neva. Oh, but that's in a bad position. Come on. Come on. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Pull you back, pull you back. It's just a Druk. Could be a Conqueror, but I think we spotted the Druks earlier in the game, so... That's not that's most likely thing to be there. My, I forgot to move up. My bagots over there are dead. AV whore. I mean, maybe it's you are. Let's just put you, put you down there. Oh, cool. Better watch out for you. Yeah, that's why. I... I have chill now, or is it their force? Okay. Get it to 90, sure. I'm being armored after all. Okay. You all get back. Panic, you're detracted. You stay, get back up front. I'm not playing well. I'm not playing well at all. Probably also not the best map for this tank, but a good deck should be decent enough on any map, really. So that's not really a good excuse. Get more, get more waters out. I don't know what you're going. Are you going for the crossing? Trip? That's actually hilarious. Lama do be annoying, and it killed my cargos, which is double annoying. Squad up there as well. I know we have to be careful about the uh... What's the name? Super Gallop. Get you out of there. I don't want you to be in line of sight for the time being. I can help it. If we can kill you. Get in the town, please. Get. I want a three stack of this. Okay, that's it. Back. It's fine, those are just 60 point tanks. Here we go, ordered, scared it away. And kill it. Was it a never firing from there? Nice. 
I want some of you. Let's get a force there going, simply because we can. You see, you're still damaged. Stay back, you supply. Get more supply. There's still no DB in mid, which is pretty funny, honestly. My AA is actually my AA is horrible. Not only because of lack of range, but also because of um, them being all panicked. The motor is putting in work. Circle you, unload you, to fire at you. Are you still busy repairing? Yeah, and miss on that. That's very smart. It's very nice. You love to see it. Wait until you're not panicked anymore. You. Ooh, we swatted the CV. Shoot on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I don't want to. Yes, okay. I want to see if I can stun the T90 and then, uh, sorry, and then move in with... Speaking of, let's pull you back into cover. It's just a prime Gallup target. They're speaking of. I wanted, that's more or less what I wanted to do. Stun the uh, Vihor, which, and it worked out splendidly. And you hit, finally. Yeah, and you're not getting resupply because of fire, huh? Ah, uh, Huang Bing, doing a good job, though. Well, no, you don't. With those proletaries. Supply, you get in there. More. Yeah, fire forced them out. There's very much still a role for flamethrower units, honestly. And I myself underestimate them for a long, long time. Maybe you remember that game against Greyhound. I think it was in one of the tournament matches. I don't know which tournament it was. Where he just demolished, or like really made my life difficult in, in mud fight with the pioneers in the town. And I was like, why is he playing Norad and not US unspec? Oh, you're getting side shot, please. I want, I want this side shot though. Yes. Oh, and the tournament was finished you off. Thank oh they were they were oh they were unlucky. I mean they were shaken but still a bit unlucky that they've missed missed twice. Second one might have been a front shot if I was lucky, but Pull you back, you're panicked. Get you up. You like you, you got shot by the Sava. I'm not really 100% convinced by these guys. Right, new chum, new Vihor. Try to fo force the close range engagement against my Chan Maho force. Is it Tron Maho 4 or Tron Maho 4? Hmm. Question for the ages. Start getting a CV. It's maybe a bit early, but I think we, we should be good here. You're elite, so you should recover from panic relatively quickly. Let's be aggressive. Closer to the edge. Yeah, 
And people laughed at me when I when I put in two cuts of mortars plus a farm. They laughed at me. Who's laughing now? Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's exactly one card. I need to have at least one more on the field to prove my point. Otherwise, I only need one card, right? With seven mortars. Should be an retreat at the tank, obviously. Also, still no new CV. Oh, that no, probably wasn't a CV. I mean, the stationary accuracy on these tanks is actually not is actually pretty good. Stabilizer is garbage, but like, you s but like being on a lead, that fifty percent scales pretty well. Get rid of those supply trucks. Fire in there for suppression fire. There's the roots. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the inventory is, has been secured. Never has trying to run away. Or let's get this in there as well. John Mao is still alive and kicking. Okay, they, they killed the damaged one. He's proletary, so that's good. It's an M84A. Or AN. It could be a base M84, I suppose. Yeah, AG output not amazing because of the 6 uh, RPM, of course. Managed to break line of sight, that's good. Circle with you. Go with you in there. You in there. Couldn't really test those, those but test out those are well and I probably didn't really use them particularly amazingly either. Only one of you has line of sight, huh? Oh, you're dead. That was the never just one-shotting me, I think. Either that or it was damaged. Or I got hit twice and was just too lazy. Or I didn't notice, rather. So, oh yeah, they're getting one-shot by Pato Branti 90 anyway, right? With 26 AP. So how much did Armored actually really help here? The spec? Probably not that much, all things considered. It's uh, M84A dead. You need ammo desperately. I need more supply trucks, man. Oh, we f never mind. For a second, I thought they were all resupplied, but nope, they weren't. You have literally one shot left, huh? We could get a B5, but I feel like it's just not necessary at this point. Did you just see like four damage with one? I must have just not looked properly here. And that's GG. Yeah, that took much longer than it should have been. We should have, you know, given the rank difference all on, in all honesty. Unless the guys just, the individual is just much lower ranked than they deserve for their skill level. But, yeah. More difficult than it should have been. But I was supposed to be for like, let's see, I, I was floating 300 something points. Like a good three minutes, I, I, I would guess I was AFK. Likely wasn't punished, but it's not always easy to guess if an opponent is AFK, right? They might just be building up somewhere else, and in that case, you don't want to like fall into a trap or overextend. But then again, you know, if your opponent, if you, you know, you were building up, and you were like, you know, I'm gonna, and the moment you were gonna start your push, in any case, and that's when your opponent goes away. Of course, that would be ideal. Look at those Fang Hua Bing though. Damn. I, I, like I said, I I think I've definitely underrated them. But it's also not always easy to put them in. Because if I had a choice in, in most decks between, you know, anti inf specialist or something like Rifleman spam or Shanshi spam, I'd always go for Shanshi spam. If it is an either or thing, right? Because it's just so versatile. And if you can fit them in, it can be really nice.
And I have to say, in situations like this, the AA net is essentially non-existent. <laughs> like playing, I feel like if you're playing against Israel, something against the Kurnas, against an F111C, and you can't really have your and Chongs very far up, you might struggle very hard. Like realistically speaking, I, or I I'm. Sh Stupid. Of course, I can't even put in the HQ7 or HQ61 because this is armored. <laughs> in that case, I mean, there's the spags. They have, they have okay range versus pl uh, planes, but not amazing. In which case, I guess, meh, I guess it's maybe fine that they don't have any of the spags. And their radar as well, right? I, have, I, I don't have to radar micro at all with this. I probably, though, should not open with stuff like CTC 853s or T90s. I think I should fo try to focus on John Maho 4s and legit either not push immediately or, if it's necessary, start with like two or three motors to get like much wider and much much faster to get wide smoke screens much faster. That's what I was trying to say here. Jeez. Yeah. I think nothing really to adjust with my deck. Again, I try to not rely on these very much because I want to get a feel for the ground play first. Because the thing is with planes, right? Unless you're playing airborne or something, you, it's hard to really make them or like implement them into your core gameplay. Because depending on who you're going up against and depending on how RNG strikes, you might just lose your plane within like two minutes. And then if you build your whole game plan around it, it's quote unquote game over, right? That's why I don't like to rely on planes. Unless maybe for like air defense, that's a kind of a different story. Yeah, I don't think there's really much to adjust. Maybe I should replace those. Could try just VTT spam. Another card of these and maybe up with them. Or more Shanshi. Or maybe right around these because they do have a good bit more range. Ah, just 175. But, and they also cost 50% more or I guess 33% more if you... Uh, Take the five pointer into account. Should have maybe given them access to the Celesty 90. It would have been a nice combo, huh? I don't know why why you didn't think of that. Or maybe there was a reason why we didn't do it. Can't think of what, because they're prototyped anyway. No. Anyway. Man pads, no, not really necessary. Maybe I should upgrade these. I only lose f I lose five in both scenarios. It's just percentage-wise I lose less. But I feel 12 of these is too little. 14 of these might be fine. And the vet is certainly nice on the glass. And on the on the uh, CPTU as well. It has a very high rate of fire, don't forget that. Maybe I should use the MI2 because of the extra speed, honestly. Like five points more at a bit more speed is honestly kind of nice. I can probably down with you. You're pretty cheap. Although I haven't really used you a lot. And yeah, vehicle type just doesn't have a lot to offer. Like PTC 85, PTC 89, and to an extent SU 100s. They're all just. They're very similar to my tanks in a sense they're glass cannons, right? Low armor, high AP, low armor, high AP. And that's just, I guess, cheap spam. But the thing is, on my tanks, I gain a lot of veterancy. I don't get on these vehicles, so... To use like this... When when I get like 20% extra accuracy on my other units here, right? And stabilizer. And they typically have either better optics or speed or both even. I think I should also try to make use of this more. It's just very squishy. But 17 AP on a full range gun for 45 points is quite good. And good base accuracy and good speed as well with medium optics. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye bye.